as a jelly squirter. Do you know who it is? Lucky Chips Ahoy, now in stores everywhere. Tonight's mystery cover once worked at Dunkin' Donuts as a jelly squirter. Do you know who it is? Let's play on the cover with your host, Mark Walter. Thank you. <laughs> I think I have family here in the audience today. That would explain the exuberant cheers. Welcome to On the Cover. If you think you know pop culture, well, then this is the show for you. We've got three players ready to test their knowledge. So let's meet the first one right now. Mitch? This administrative assistant is from Noblesville, Indiana. Here's Parker Morrison. Hello, Parker. I've got a 15-second lightning round coming at you. We'll show you a series of covers from magazines, books, movies, and music. All you have to do is correctly identify them. 100 points for every correct ID. Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. Good. Your time starts now. Actor. Toby Maguire. Yes. Musician. Moby. Right. Actor. Steve Martin. Correct. Actor. Kevin Bacon. Right. Actress. Kim Basinger. Right. Cartoon princess. Snow White. Right. Model. All right, time is up, and that was the only one that you missed. Latin Style is the magazine. Daisy Fuentes is on the cover. And that's the only one you got stumped on. 600 points, though. Six right. Okay, Mitch, we need another player. From Homa, Louisiana, he works in the field of marketing. Say hello to Blaine Fedros. All right, Blaine, ready to go? Ready. 15 seconds. Your time starts now. Actor. Kevin Costner. Yes. Movie series. Harry Potter. Yes. Actor. Oh, uh, Val Kilmer. Right. Actress. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Right. Movie. Uh, uh, Brian Frankenstein. Yes. Actress. Pass. And time is up. All right, Blaine, I heard a buzzer on one that I think you got right. I'm looking at the judges. They're giving me a thumbs up. You said Val Kilmer. That is correct, autograph collector, so you'll get credit for that. This is Misha Barton on Elle magazine. You didn't get that one, but you got five right, 500 points. Blaine, good start. Cool. Yeah. Mitch, I need one more player. Mark, he's an event planner originally from Chicago, Illinois. Welcome, Don Petransic. Don, 15 seconds, all new covers, 100 points for every correct ID. Your time starts now. Actor. Tom Cruise. Yes, singer. Frankie Martin. Yes, actress. Singer. Oh, uh, Shakira. Yes. Band. Yes. Yes. Muppet. Miss Peggy. Yes. <laughs> that was fabulous. <laughs> you missed uh, Buffy Thingy Girl, or whatever you called her, uh, oh, Sarah girl. Michelle Geller on Femme Fatale's <laughs> magazine. Other than that, you did a great job. You got five right, 500 points, Don. Exuberance abounds in the studio today. We'll take a break, collect our thoughts, and be ready to play when we come back with more on the cover right after this. Closed captioning provided by... Are you disabled? Have you been denied? Welcome back to On the Cover. Let's find out a little bit more about our players over here. Don, welcome to the show. Hi, Mark. Uh, you have collected Charlie's Angels memorabilia, is that right? That's right. Uh, growing up, I wasn't much into baseball cards, but I was totally into Kate Jackson. So <laughs> I collected every Charlie's Angels playing card that was ever produced. I've got a Cheryl Ladd rookie card. That's you incredible. Do not. I have them all, so that's I didn't, fine. Even, I didn't even know they made them. <laughs> Thank you. Blaine. Hi, Mark. Nice How are to you? see you. You're a karaoke man? I am. I am a mean karaoke singer. What's your do, song? Uh, I can do a little Cracklin' Rose from Neil Diamond. <laughs> when in doubt, Neil Diamond is always good karaoke. Neil, and all the girls always sing along. Chicks dig diamond. Chicks dig diamond. <laughs> love, brother, love. Love, brother, love. <laughs> Parker. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you. Nice to see this you. delicate, demure flower. And now I find out that your mother escorts you to the tattoo parlor? Yes, she does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Want to elaborate? Well, um, it started about four years ago now and we I went and got my first tattoo and my mom got me a coffee and she sat with me and then we went to a pe local pizza parlor afterward and had the best pizza we've ever had in our life so it just stuck I have three now isn't that nice <laughs> angel let's go get you some ink <laughs> <laughs> glad to have all three of you here Let's take a look at the scores Don 500 points Blaine 500 points Parker 600 points Close game. It's now time for our on the cover round. Players, I'll show you three different covers. Every time you pick one, you will get a question. I love the three of you. Uh, 
Hey, you get a question. Answer it correctly. 250 points. I'll introduce a new cover after every question, so they always have three to choose from. And each time a cover is not chosen, as you probably know at this point, its value increases by 250 points. And as Don said in the break, it's always good to have your value increased. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at the first three covers. Newsweek magazine. That would be Michelle Kwan. National Geographic with a meerkat. Ability Magazine, and that would be Tipper Gore on the cover. Those are your first three covers. We have a tie for third place between Don and Blaine. Blaine, you played first, so we'll let you choose first. All right, I'll go with Newsweek, Mark. All right. In 2003, Michelle Kwan was named Female Athlete of the Year at the Kids' Choice Awards, which are presented by what kid-friendly cable network? Parker. Nickelodeon. Yes. And in that spot, a new cover. This would be Time Magazine, all about Ritalin. And uh, Parker. National Geographic, please. What little meerkat befriends the title character in Disney's animated classic, The Lion King? Blaine. Timon. Yes. That's worth 500. Now you have the lead, and Blaine, it's your choice. Let's give you another cover to choose from. Interview Magazine, Tim Robbins on that cover, Blaine. We're going to go with Interview. All right. Tim Robbins directed what actress to an Oscar in the 1995 movie Dead Man Walking? Blaine. Susan Sarandon. Yes, that is absolutely right. A new cover. Premier Magazine, Michelle Pfeiffer on the cover. Blaine, back to you. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Ritalin, Time Magazine. Yes, okay. <laughs> Ritalin is often prescribed for children with ADD, which stands for what medical condition? Blaine. Attention deficit disorder. Very well done. And a new cover. The Eagles. Oh, man, do you remember that one? Their greatest hits. Nice. When you, were, when you were collecting Charlie's Angels cards, I was down with the Eagles. <laughs> All right, uh, Blaine, your choice. All right, we'll go with ability. It's rhyme time here at On the Cover. Hmm. I was hoping we would avoid that, but no. <laughs> Mrs. Gore was quite contrary to go by Tipper when her real name's what? Don? Mary! Yes! Oh. Yes, that's right, Don. Let's put a new cover up there. <laughs> Fade In Magazine, Billy Bob Thornton and Don. Uh, premiere with Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a title. Michelle Pfeiffer once won the beauty pageant title for what Southern California region that shares its name with a TV drama starring Peter Gallagher? Don. Oh, see. Orange County. Orange County, that's right. <laughs> Don, when you press the button, is there an electric charge going through your hand? <laughs> just want to make sure there's not a short or anything. <laughs> New cover. <laughs> Sub Opera Weekly with uh, Vanessa Marcil on that cover from General Hospital. Uh, Don. Soap Opera Weekly. <laughs> Got a little melancholy on that one, didn't you? <laughs> General Hospital star Vanessa Marcil rolled the dice and won big when she signed on to co-star with James Caan in what 2003 primetime hit? Blaine? Vegas? No. Parker? Las Vegas? Yes. Uh, uh, Another cover. Fade in. Well, let's give you all three to choose from, but... <laughs> okay. Golf for Women Sorry. with uh, Jody Kidd on that cover, and now you may choose. Thank you. Fade in, please. Fade in with Billy Bob Thornton. In what 1996 film would you hear Billy Bob Thornton mumble, Gonna eat them taters. <laughs> Blaine? Swing blade. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and that is the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores, which are pretty close. Parker, 1,100. Don, 2,500. Blaine, 2,750. Anybody's ball game. Uh, only one of them, however, will have a shot at the grand prize package. We'll find out who that is right after this. They're... We are back with more on the cover, taking a quick uh, peek at the scores. Parker, 1,100. Don, 2,500. Blaine, 2,750. And up until now, you guys, uh, we've been using actual covers you'd find on CDs and magazines and DVDs. But in this round, we feature our parody magazine covers from our very own on-the-cover newsstand. Covers we think our celebrities should be on. You may agree. 
Maybe not. <laughs> Stakes remain high. At the end of this round, only the player with the highest score will go on to play for our grand prize package. I will show you your first set of three parody magazine covers if you ask me. Will you show us the magazine covers? <laughs> sure, Don. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> Mumbles Magazine <laughs> with Bob Dylan. Bob's workout video. Everybody must get toned. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Silver Bulletin with Bob Seger, learns chess, funny how the night moves. <laughs> and finally, Model Husband Magazine with Bobby Brown, every little step is a chore with these ankle cuffs. Those are the first three covers. The answers are the celebrities on those covers. Bob Dylan, Bob Seger, or Bobby Brown. You may buzz in as early as you like. Correct answers, by the way, are worth 500 points. You can buzz in whenever you like, but be careful because if you're wrong, the other two players hear the entire question. We've covered everything, haven't we? Yes. Let's play the game. Has a daughter named Bobby? Blaine? Uh, Bob Brown. Yes. Oh. Had the hit like a Rolling Stone. Blaine? Bob, uh, Bob Dylan. Yes. Not from a Great Lake state. Blaine? Bob Seeger. No. Parker. Bob Dylan? No. Don? Bobby Brown? Yes! yes. <laughs> One of his songs was used in a Chevy ad campaign. Parker. Bob Seeger. Yes. One of his songs was covered by Metallica. Blaine. Bob Dylan. No. Parker. Bob Seeger. Yes, Bob Seeger. The song turned the page. And yes, that's the end of that set. Wow, good game. Parker 2100, Don 3000, Blaine 3750. Oh, really? Now there were 750 apiece. Let's take a look at the three parody covers. Big Bad Wolf <laughs> magazine. Virginia Wolf discovers sheep in her clothing. Yes. <laughs> this is Club Medieval magazine. <laughs> it's all inclusive. It's fabulous. Wow. Beowulf slays him at the Grendel Opry. <laughs> Marty Pants Magazine. Hey, Michael J. Fox, your McFly is open. <laughs> Those are the three covers. You'll notice we have Virginia Wolf, Beowulf, and Teen Wolf. Uh -huh. <laughs> there were 750 points each. Good luck, you guys. Here we go. Bright Lights, Big City. Don. Michael J. Fox. No. <laughs> <laughs> Provided backdrop for her novel, Mrs. Dalloway. Blaine. Virginia Wolf. Yes. Went to heroic measures to save the mayor from embarrassment on Spin City. Don? Michael J. Fox. Yes. Casualties of war include a monster and a fire-breathing... Parker? Beowulf. Fire-breathing dragon, that's Beowulf, right. Family ties were... Don? Virginia Woolf. Were chief source of this lonely writer's depression, Virginia Woolf <laughs> <Yes>. right. <laughs> Wow. You so almost got me with that one. <laughs> Did I so almost get you? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Once said, I'm careful not to confuse excellence with perfection. Blaine. Virginia Woolf. No. Parker. Michael J. Fox? Yes, he said that. And that is the end of that set. 3,600 for Parker. Don and Blaine, 4,500. Now, yes. I will warn you, in the event of a tie, you will have to wrestle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can take it. I haven't agreed yet. <laughs> Don has not agreed. Well, he is not. Lose. You know what? Let's just play the game and see what happens. Uh, this uh, set of three, the answers are worth 1,000 points. It is a close game, and I've had some fun with you. But concentrate because this is the round that decides the game. Good luck. Let's take a look at the three covers. Mr. Sippy magazine with Paul Robeson uh, at the crab stable. He just keeps rolling. <laughs> He's the man who made the song Old Man River famous. And thank you. Uh, just thank trying you. to help you along. There, <laughs> so Next cover, <laughs> Mr. Hanky. <laughs> Luciano Pavarotti. Luci Pucci. While practicing my scales, I broke them. <laughs> well, now sympathy for Pavarotti. Yes. And the third cover. Whack Job Magazine, James Gandolfini's advice to cash-strapped church, hold a bada-bingo night. <laughs> so, 
We have uh, Paul Robeson, a famous bass, Luciano Pavarotti, a famous tenor, and James Gandolfini, a famous soprano. Oh, <laughs> Answers I want, however, Paul Robeson, Luciano Pavarotti, James Gandolfini, worth a thousand points each. Good luck to all three of you. It's anybody's game. Here we go. Old Man River is nowhere near the New Jersey locations, Blaine. James Gandolfini. Of his TV show, that's right. Elected valedictorian of his senior class at Rutgers. Blaine. Paul Robeson. Yes. Oh, he was never a guest star on Sesame Street. Don. Paul Robeson. Correct. His marriage dissolved after he had an affair with his secretary. Blaine. Uh, Luciano Pavarotti. Yes. Known for speaking and writing in more than 20 languages. Don. Luciano Pavarotti. No. Don't. Parker. Paul Robeson. Yes, that's right. And that is the end of the round. A very close game. Parker, 4,600. Don, 5,500. Blank, 7,500. You're going on to the bonus round. Don's not even feigning happiness at all. I'm sorry you didn't win Don and Parker, but we do have some great prizes for both of you. Had a great time with you, too. Thanks for playing the game. Hey, Blaine, when, you, when we come back from this break, you'll have a shot at our grand prize package. Let's see how he does right after this. Blaine, come on down. I've simply put I. We've got some travel provided by Orbitz. Now the site you love for booking flights has made it just as easy to book hotels. Just Orbitz and go. Remember, tonight's mystery cover once worked at Dunkin' Donuts as a jelly squirter. Welcome back to On the Cover. It has been a fun time today. And Blaine, congratulations. It was close there, but in the end, you had enough points and you're here. Congratulations. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Now it is time for you to try and solve today's mystery cover, Blaine, which is hidden behind those nine boxes you see up there on the board. All right. I'll show you nine covers. Each one corresponds to one of those nine boxes. You'll have 20 seconds to correctly identify as many of them as you can. Okay. For every right answer, we'll reveal a part of today's mystery cover. And if you can correctly identify our mystery cover, it's a good thing. And Mitch will tell you just how good right now. The Sheridan Historico in the heart of Mexico City. Enjoy elegance and quiet sophistication with centuries of history at its doorstep. Experience the blend of the past, present, and future. The Sheridan Historico. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Mitch. Excellent. Mexico City is in the offing for you. I hope we get there. I hope so, too. By, on our dime, actually. On your dime. Yeah, very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. It is time to crack that mystery cover. All right, Blaine. Time to focus. 20 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. Actress. Uh, Ingrid Bergman. No. Actor. Daniel Day-Lewis. Yes. TV show. Uh, Lost in Space. No. Oh, fun. Music group. Uh, pass. Actress. Uh, Kate Hudson. No. Singer. Uh, Dwight Yoakam. No. Actress. I have no idea. Yeah, time is up. Uh, boy. Round didn't go quite the way you'd like. No, it didn't. Let's take a look at what you had trouble with. What this. am I? I'm a moron. That's Audrey Hepburn. Well, yeah. you're not a moron, but that is Audrey Hepburn <laughs> okay. on Time Magazine. In the heat of the moment, it's difficult. Twilight Film zone. Facts, that's the Twilight Zone. Mm. Um, Discoveries Magazine, Mamas and the Papas. It's written on there. Yeah, well, now it's written on there. It wasn't written on there. It wasn't before. written on there. No, before. so don't feel so bad. Okay. All right, and this, uh, you say it was Kate Hudson. It is Elizabeth Shue. On Elle Magazine mm -hmm. and uh, George Strait. George Strait. Right. right. Okay. And Ability Magazine, Marley Matlin. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. didn't do as well as I know you'd hope. You got one right, which means oh. you will see one part of today's mystery cover. Hopefully, their face is in the upper right hand corner. Right. Let's Absolutely. give you the category, help you out a little bit. The category today is singer. We're looking for a singer that does narrow it down quite a bit. You have 10 seconds to give me the identity of our mystery cover after we reveal that one piece. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Whitney Houston. It's a good guess, considering you just have to go with someone with hair. <laughs> uh, no, not Whitney Houston. Let's take a look. You know who it is Madonna. yet? Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. It wouldn't have taken many pieces for you to get it. Ah. Yeah, Madonna uh. once worked as a Dunkin' Donuts uh, jelly squirter. Wow. I'm just reading it here. It, sorry it didn't work out. Hey, uh, we have some good prizes for you, Mark. though. Mitch, what does he win for being champion? 
It's fast, it's furious, it's the new Rad to Go Sunbird Hybrid Electric Moped. Environmentally friendly and no license required with the electric motor drive. Visit radtogo.com. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Mitch. Uh, well, I'm sorry you didn't win the trip to Mexico yeah. City. Thanks for being here. You played yeah. great. All the time we have. We'll see you next time right here on On the Cover. Goodbye, folks. Today's contestants will choose a parting gift from one of Time Life's exclusive CD or DVD sets, like Legends, the Ultimate Block Collection, or other best selling products available online at timelife.com. Select photographs courtesy of Wire Image.